join me for a pump condition lift from start to finish. I'm gonna show you how I get it done. Here we go. Once a week in pump condition, we take the pre-fatigue that we do every other day of the week and the same as pump lift, and we turn it into something called aerobic bodybuilding. That means we get our start with a little bit of an aerobic piece, rowing, and then two movements that are gonna complement the muscles and the movement patterns of the day. Rear delt flies, dual kettlebell high pulls. Really warm up the posterior chain, the rear delts, and the back to go along with rowing because today is pulling day. So with pump condition, our lifting, it's all about building muscle, but also being efficient with our training. So we utilize a lot more supersets in this program track. The first superset I'm doing for strength intensity is a T-bar row for eight reps, controlled, tough reps. And then after about a 15 second transition, I'm going right into a max effort set of pull-ups. That combination, back to back, it's gonna tax a lot of the same muscle groups. Upper back, a little bit of lower back, and definitely biceps. So. These are agonist supersets. We use them from time to time in pump condition as a way to pack on more work into a shorter amount of time. And because of the back-to-back -back nature here, where the movements are targeting the same parts of the body, I'm getting a lot of stimulus, again, without having to max out my weight. I think everyone is looking for the secret to building muscle, to building strength. There's a lot of different methods out there and a lot of different approaches, but the one constant is that effort has to be there. And whether you're doing a pump condition workout, a pump lift program, or one other program that's out there, all the principles mean nothing if you're not actually taking yourself into that high, high effort zone on your working sets. So. People call it RPE, rate of perceived exertion, or reps in reserve, RIR. Whatever it, whatever it is that you use to measure your effort and become objective about it, you need to start shooting for the upper end of what you're capable of. This format, superset of one exercise for weight into another exercise for max reps at body weight is a terrific way to take you into that effort zone that's gonna produce results. And that's what I'm always after with my programs is what can get somebody safely into that effort zone depending on their training experience. This and these program tracks are a fantastic way to do that. So we got the big movements out of the way for the day. That was the T-bar row right into pull-up max effort. Now we're moving on to a piece that we call the strength balance section of pump condition. We're doing a prone incline bench elbowing row. That's gonna really target the rear delts bringing the elbows high and out to the side. And then on the alternate sets, we're doing alternating dumbbell curls. So we start with this exercise, rest about a minute, do this exercise, rest about a minute, this exercise. We keep the rest periods relatively short, but this superset allows us to get more work done in a shorter amount of time. But Marcus, supersets, are those actually the best way to build muscle? Look, if you want the best way to build muscle, the most proven methods that are gonna maximize your hypertrophy, maximize your muscle gains, yeah, perhaps supersets are not the best way to go. But we're not necessarily here to create 
world champion bodybuilders. We're here to make people who have a limited amount of time to build muscle, to get a lot of work done in a short amount of time so that they can also keep up their cardiovascular system. They can work on building their capacity and they can still get a hell of a stimulus and great intensity out of their weight training by using these methods. So if you want a more focused muscle building approach that doesn't use supersets, go try pump lift. But for today, we're mixing it all together. We're getting the best of both worlds. Hey, pump condition gets its name from the fact that we do conditioning on every single session. Pump condition is muscle building combined with aerobic development through conditioning work. This particular superset or interval that I'm doing involves rowing, kettlebell deadlifts, farmer's carries, and body rows. The combination is every three minutes, start a new set. You're gonna row for nine to 12 calories you're gonna do six deadlifts, a hundred foot carry, six more deadlifts, 12 body rows, movement patterns similar, targeting those same muscles we've been working on all day, but we're getting our heart rate spiked at the beginning so that there's a little bit of fatigue when we go into some of these movements. Here we go. Each one is taking me two minutes, which is giving me about a minute rest every set. My grip is definitely becoming an issue. Got a bit a lot of pulling all week and that sustained farmer's carry definitely challenges the grip. Some people might be asking, Marcus, is a deadlift actually appropriate on a pulling day? And the answer is yes. Even though the deadlift is taxing my hamstrings and my glutes a little bit, what I'm getting is some lower and mid back work and a lot of scap stability. So lats having to engage, rear delts having to work to keep those weights pinned to my side as I perform my deadlifts. And then of course the carry, the farmer's carry, big on the traps, big on the grip, which are both very much a part of a pulling day. Here goes the last set. Hey, check the description down below if you wanna hit this full workout. I'll have details down there. And stay tuned for the launch of Pump Condition, July 3rd, Monday. Get started with us. See how this whole thing unfolds over six weeks of a continuously programmed, progressive training program. Thanks for joining me.